This next quote is so powerful to me. You need to surround yourself with people who are going to lift you higher. We're in a negative world, gang. All right, I don't even watch the news in the morning. I don't pick up my phone for 30 minutes after I'm awake. I guarantee you the first thing you guys do when you wake up is check your Snapchat streaks. Is that, no? So what happens, you wake up and you're in a good mood. You're like, all right, today's gonna be a great day. And then you get a text or you see a comment that someone made in your picture that's negative or hurtful. You think that's gonna change the direction of your day at all? Because now you're filled with anger and sadness and bitterness. Same thing watching the news. The first 20 minutes of the news anymore is negativity. It's sadness. It's violence. So remove those things from your life and remove people from your life that are the same way. You guys know who your friends are that are negative? And here's the, here's the craziest thing. As you start to get older, you're going to see this phenomenon take place. And maybe some of you have already seen it that have had success in athletics or music or academically. The people that are closest to you are the ones that are going to try to sabotage your success. They're going to see you pulling away from the pack and they're going to grab onto your ankle and they're going to pull you back down and tell you all the reasons why you're not going to be successful and you're not going to be the person you're capable of becoming. You know, I just did a podcast the other day where I talked about the fact that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So look around at your five people. Are these the people that you want lifting you up? Now, I'm not saying abandon your friends. They can always be your friends. But are they someone that's going to be a positive influence on your life and lift you higher? If not, then you need to find a new group of people to spend time with. There's three things you should never break. Promises, trust, and someone's heart. You have one thing in this world, and that's trust. If you give someone your word that you're going to do something or you're going to be somewhere, then you better make sure you do that thing or you be at that place. People need to be able to count on you. That's what friendship is. That's what business is. When you get into the real world, your word is all you have when you first get into a new company, you're building relationships with people. And you've got to build trust. Because trust, think about trust as a piece of paper. You crumple that piece of paper up, you can unfold it and put it down, but that paper is never gonna look the same. And that's, this, that's exactly what happens when you break someone's trust. And trust is a two-way street. You've got to make sure that you trust other people. And that's probably the biggest, one of the other bigger regrets I have is because of everything I went through, I stopped trusting people. Because, you know, as I look back, and I'm sure some of you can attest to this, the people that hurt me the most throughout my life were the people that I let in and I was closest to. And I can imagine some of you have had some of the meanest texts you've seen and some of the meanest comments have come from people that you consider friends because they know you the best. They know your weaknesses. They know your vulnerability. So do you really want to spend time with someone that's going to expose those? The answer is no. Everybody has a story. Never judge a book by its cover. We don't know why the bully is the way they are. And we don't know why there's certain people in our lives that are always negative or try to bring us down, but we know something happened to them. I mean, the most common thought is perhaps they were bullied when they were younger. So now they're turning around and bullying some other people. But chances are there's sadness and hurt and anger inside of them. In a perfect world, you dig deep and you find out what's hurting them and you try to provide a solution. As you get older and you get into college and you get into the real world and you have a job, you're going to be around people that you don't know, that you didn't grow up with. So you don't know their stories. And I challenge you to ask questions, to learn about them, to find out why, what makes them tick. Because if you do, that'll give you tremendous insight and it'll help you learn how to deal with people. Because guess what? From now on, the rest of your lives, you're going to be dealing with people, whatever profession you choose. So I really encourage you to follow this advice.